everyone and welcome to what does this button do it's an educational show about smartphones and tablets and this is episode number 102. we are all dogs learning new tricks all the time <laughs> hi everyone i'm jim and here together with my wife chris we're geeks on tour do you think your smartphone is smarter than you and do you have questions about your Android phone or your iPad tablet? And how do you learn about these amazing devices? Well, we are geeks who teach, and we believe the best way to learn is in bite-sized pieces on a regular basis and have a little fun with it. So we came up with this weekly show, and we pick a different topic every week. All of our content is collected on our website, geeksontour.com. All right, Chris, where are we now? We're at home in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. A happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> you look like a happy boy there. I was a happy boy. <laughs> All right, today's show, we have three parts. The opening tip is going to be about the smartphone camera and manually focusing. Our beginner's lesson is going to be using your phone to learn. And we'll have a special guest. Roger Hurricane Wilson is here with us today, and that should be a lot of fun. And uh, then we'll do a closing tip and uh, focus apps. If you have questions during the live show today, just use the YouTube chat window if you can find that. And by Wednesday afternoon, this episode will be posted at our buttonshow.com, and you can leave comments there. But if you ever have questions, that's the place to do it. We do invite you to become a member at geeksontour.com. Just navigate, point your browser to geeksontour.com and click on become a member. Good stuff. Show notes, do you have stuff for that? I want to mention a word or two, yes. Uh, show notes, we write up after the show, every after the live show, I spend some time and write up the notes on it so that you don't have to. And they are available for free on our website for members. We also post them on thebuttonshow.com for 99 cents. And last week's show, 101, there's something we didn't get to during the show. So there is a bonus video about how to set up iPhone speed dials. So to find that, you would just go to thebuttonshow.com and it'll be episode number 101. There's a optional bonus video. Okay, how about a quick tip then? A quick tip today is about how to manually set focus when you're using a smartphone camera. I just I have one little example here to show you what I'm talking about. So here's my example. If you have two items in your picture, one in the foreground and one in the background, your focus automatic focus tries to get the best for the overall picture but maybe you want the item in the foreground to be in clear focus and the background to be blurry or you maybe you want the background to be in focus and the foreground to be blurry and you can do that just by tapping on the screen but now since that is such a really that's kind of impossible for us to show live here on the uh on the show in our studio so this you're going to get to watch one of our prepared videos and i have it queued up on the ipad here and this is an example of using your ipad to learn too so here we go it's just it's less than two minutes i think no a little over two minutes hi this is chris gold with geeks on tour and this smartphone lesson is about using the camera and setting your focus manually by tapping the screen i will demonstrate setting focus on both apple and android using my iphone 6 plus and my samsung galaxy s5 your phone might be different my apple iphone 6 in my hands and i have an apple near if you tap it that gets in focus and properly exposed or if i tap zoom in the background that's what gets in focus and properly exposed if you want to adjust the exposure even further you can drag that little sun that appears dragging it up brightens the exposure dragging it down 
turns it down. If I then move the phone, though, it will it will change. It will readjust to its automatic. So if for some reason you want to lock it onto setting the exposure and focus to Jim, you just long press, hold down until you see that AEAF. Now you can reframe your picture, do whatever you want, and the focus and exposure stays the same. To turn that off, you either get out of the camera, go back home, or long press again. Until that AEAF goes off. Changing focus points on my Android phone. If I want the thing in the foreground to be in focus, you just tap. Notice how Jim in the background has gotten out of focus. But also notice how it bounces back. So if I have to tap there and take a picture, then I can tap on him and take a picture. Or there is a little trick if you need some more time and you can lock it. Tap what you want in focus. Now touch and hold on the camera button. It won't take a picture until you let go of it. So if you're waiting for the lighting or for something to get just right, notice how the focus is being held now. When I let go, it takes a picture. Oh, cool. We <clears throat> invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash two geeks on tour. about that? Yeah, so that's the first. And welcome to Oops, sorry. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's why we record this live, so we can go back and edit this stuff out. <laughs> it's too much fun. So... Uh, that's an example of our prepared tutorial videos. And then there's 451 of them on our on our website. But that little tip, it surprises me how many people don't know that. I know a lot of you do, and maybe that's why I throw in the little extra tip there of locking locking the focus. But uh, when we teach this hands-on, that's like the first exercise we do. Oh, and people are always like, I never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So, so there you go. Hope you learned something. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, here we are. Questions. Well, I don't see any questions here yet, but, but Bill says, Chris just solved my focus lock issue that I've experienced for years. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that's too cool. Yay. All right. Well, it's right. time to bring our guest in. Let's, uh, you ready? You going to do the introductions? Who's sure, who's... Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, Roger. Hey there. We first, I, I remember when we first met you, it was years ago, actually, you were playing an outdoor concert at a thousand trails, Carolina landings in South Carolina. And we loved it. And we followed you on Facebook ever since. But then we, we're surprised to get to know you at the learning, learning, living, living the RV, RV dream, dream rally in, uh, in Florida just a couple months ago that we have a lot more in common because you're an RVer and you teach using tutorial videos online. So I think we have a lot in common. So say, he say hello and tell us where you are and what you're doing these days. Well, it's great to be here, and I appreciate it. Um, I'm at my home in uh, Kennesaw, Georgia. And, uh, uh, you know, being along with you guys, you know, I had to, uh, I remember playing that show when uh, you caught me when I was walking wireless uh, with my guitar that day, walking up the hill playing what I was doing. <laughs> and uh, that was, uh, I think, Memorial Day or something like that, that Carolina Landing, which is what I did every year for a long time at Thousand Trails. Yeah, that's good. You so you play all over the country, and that's why you have a casita. Yeah, I uh, I've been I've been playing professionally since 1973. I've done I mean I've done my million miles on the road and everything, and did a lot of joints and a lot of festivals and you know pretty much every, clubs a lot. And then uh, for somehow um, <clears throat> I uh, my wife bought me, got me an RV back in uh, 1998 when I was carrying a band around, and I started getting into it there. And then along about 06. 
um, I kind of stumbled into the uh, the network of the of the RV parks and kind of fell into that whole thing. And it was just a real great way to play for people that would normally never hear me late night in a, in a honky tonk or, you know, possibly uh, something like that. It was just a whole different audience. And it ena enabled me to, you know. Uh oh, we lost uh, maybe you. Blue. There we go. We missed a couple of words. Blue's Say that again. Uh oh. I think I just lost you there. Yeah, yeah you're right. back. Yeah, you're back, but okay. we're having some issues with your bandwidth. I think I'm not sure what it is, but uh, but you're back. Okay. Yeah, I know that you actually started playing guitar at age nine. Uh, then how did you get into teaching guitar? Um, I started off uh, taking guitar lessons at nine because there were kid, some kid down the street was doing it, and I thought, well, if he's going to do it, I got to do it. It was just uh, something that came along, but it came very <laughs> natural to me. And then, and then I, I just always loved music, and I, all the way through grammar school, I, I played trumpet and drums and all that. Um, <clears throat> I got into teaching because I was working a real, real crummy job uh, after I got out of uh, high school. I went to boarding, I'm from New Jersey originally, Jersey Shore, but my mom was from Atlanta, so I went away to high school in, in Atlanta from uh, 1967 to 72. After I graduated, I went back to Jersey for a year and was going to college, and I was working this crummy job in a factory, which is absolutely horrible. And I remember I was um, having to, I was having to dump, uh, plastic cases by the dump truck loads into these machines and then and then shovel it back out and it would be and it would turn into these uh, styrofoam pellets that you pack with and I remember looking at the clock you know and I thought it was like two and a half hours or two three hours it went by it was like you know ten minutes or something and I thought no this is not gonna, <laughs> this there's got to be a work. better way huh so I went back and I started calling music stores and I told them I wanted to teach guitar lessons I never taught in my life but I, I knew music good music education and I learned how to read, and I thought, well, I'll just teach people the way I learned how to, you know, the, my teacher taught me, which is how to read music. Then eventually it evolved to the whole by ear thing, and of course, I tell the whole story in my book, Hurricane, that, uh, that uh, I released uh, last year. The whole, it's, a, it's basically a biography of the of the journey the music has done for me. It's really is it's been a result of the music, and uh, it's just been a, a, an amazing wild ride, and I can see. By looking at all these gadgets around me here, it's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, so now, and then when did you get started doing the videos to, to do the teaching? Oh, man. Well, I'd, I'd always been, I'd been in uh, broadcasting. I mean, my full-time career had been teaching guitar, but I was in broadcasting, too. I started out in radio, and the only full-time job I ever had uh, where I didn't have to pay the phone bill and I had benefits was when I worked for Ted Turner at CNN from 1986 to 96. And I was uh, I was in the newsroom during the first Gulf War, during the OJ trial, during the Iran Contra uh, things that were going on, and I was editing video. I learned a whole lot. Plus, I you know back when I was in high school, I had worked on the learned all this stuff about you know directing and dissolving and all this all the things that go along with it. And so it just it really came in handy. And then with, as the technology has evolved with these little contraptions I have now, like this uh, little zoom camera that I use. And uh, I just, I just, I remember, you know, I've been around the, the best guys in the world uh, editing in the newsroom. I watched what they did. And I just took enough to be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, so show us a couple of little gadgets. So what, what is the camera that you use to record your videos with? Well, the, the ones I do on the website, the, uh, the, what, the, my, I have three teaching websites. Two of them are up and running right now, beginnerguitarlessonsfree.com is uh, one of the, the, the ones and so I'll shoot the uh, videos uh, with this uh, the actual actually playing guitar and talking and I have two of these I have a little video studio in my uh, upstairs in my man cave that I use <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it, it's lit and it's uh, it's a regular place where I go shoot the uh, the demos with the guitar then I come back down to my office and I have this camera right here I have two of these and then I, I just put the uh, PDF up and I, and I point out the PDF and go over that then I dissolve back into a close, but I, I demo the song, and I'll take like a Christmas song, or I'll take a old standard song since for the beginner site. Then for the blues site, I'll take some you know, you know typical blues licks or things because uh, that somebody might be interested in. They'd be like, I've got a John Lee Hooker lick, 
you know, there's somebody that's a lot of fun to play. And I just, I just think of things over the, over the course of um, what I think somebody might want to hear from, you know, from 40 years of teaching over 40 years uh-huh. and, uh, and just put it in there. But I also will take, I'll take, you know, if somebody like wants to take a lesson on and they want to learn something, you know, not everybody's going to be, you know, a, a conductor, be professional in the business. It's all about having fun, you know, to the instrument and then playing it a little bit and just learning something. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, you don't have to take it to the extent that I've taken it my whole life, you know. But if you do that's great. But if do you not, also do you also still... teach Skype? Oh yes, I've got a couple of students that I do teach on Skype, and uh, you know, that's all on my my uh, teaching website is RogerWilsonGuitarStudio.com, and I felt that was a brick and mortar location I had back starting in '73. It talks about the uh, other websites and the uh, Skype thing and everything and all that. So when you started playing guitar back in the in the seventies, do you think what what would you have thought if you saw the equipment that you're using today? Well, I started my first guitar lesson was on January seventh, nineteen sixty three. So we're talking a long time here. I, I had no idea. I mean, when I first started. Hmm. Uh, I guess. Early on, I, I learned a book, and you learn how to read note by note, string by string, and you you just kind of eke it out, and and, and uh, you have to go through a whole you know thing of uh, learning music before you can really play something. All right, well, the, but the technology, to, the, the technology, technology is, is well, it started out. In other words, what I had to do is I had to ruin forty-five RPM records to like learn a song when a kid would come in back in the seventies. And you'd have to, you know, sit down and learn the record. Then, the technology started going in where people were writing uh, tablature uh, cassette tapes, and cassette tapes became the big thing as far as like being able to sit down and learn a lick. You know, then all of a sudden, uh, maybe later on, VHS was the deal, and and the technology just progressed, and to where it's just uh, digital. But when I learned a guitar lick, I had to sit down and ruin a record album to learn the lick. Now you just turn on YouTube and bring it up, and there it is. You know, with a lot of different people teaching, including myself. And that is a perfect segue. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the, our beginner's lesson that we're going to do today is about using your technology to learn because of, of tutorial videos that, that we can get. Um, so normally, we are teaching people how to learn <clears throat> to use technology. But today, we're talking about using technology to learn. Pretty tricky, huh? And because both us, Geeks on Tour, and you, Roger Hurricane Wilson, use, the tech, use tutorial videos. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple things. You can find a video on YouTube to teach you anything um, is using search. But then you can limit. You will find thousands of videos, way too many. So I'm going to show you how you can search, and when you find an author that you like, subscribe, and how to get notifications. But then, but then you need to leave YouTube and find that author's website as well, because there will be more. I don't remember what the next one. Um, yeah, and we will show them uh, on my iPad how to get to Roger Hurricane Wilson and your guitar instruction. Is that the right place for people to go? Uh, the, the overall website um, is hurricanewilson.com. That's my main website, right. and that'll take you to all the other ones, uh, which are, right. you know, the, the guitar studio and the uh, beginner guitar and all that, but that's all in there in the main site. Okay, so let me get to the iPad, and first of all, to show you, I'm talking about the YouTube app. So it isn't, you need to install the app. It's a free app. YouTube is by Google. And you will probably, you can be logged in with your Google account. And then what I'm talking about is, so this is my home page. You know, yours will look different. You know, there's the, the home page. Yeah, all these thousands and thousands of videos. You want to use search. And you can search for absolutely anything. Like, let's say you want to learn to sail. And search. 
there will be thousands of videos on learning to sail. Let's try, let's try another one. I'm going to tap the X on the search field so that I can type in something a lot more simple. Instead of learn to sail, how about how to peel a hard-boiled egg? <laughs> I know how to do that. Peel a hard-boiled egg. I mean, is that obscure or what? And yet there are thousands of videos that will teach you how to peel a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> I actually and used it one time I, to uh, dice a union. Dice an onion. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah there well, is. I, to, I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted the correct way to dice an onion, so I went on there and found it, and it was perfect. Yep. <laughs> and there is a right way to do it. Yeah, and there's this. <laughs> we really did learn a better way to peel a hard-boiled egg by looking on YouTube as well. Now let's get to something more important. Uh, learn to use smartphone. <laughs> And I want to see if Geeks on Tour comes up. Learn to use smartphones. And search. And we also will still find thousands here. Ah, but look, one, two, three, four. Geeks on Tour comes up at number four. That's, I'm, that's pretty good. Not bad at all. And then, of course, one of our, but now in learning to use smartphones, Notice that the first one here is one year ago, and this one is five years ago. Things have changed a lot in five years. Maybe I don't want to see old videos in this category. Well, that's what you use. Oops, I didn't mean to do, I didn't mean to do that. They are touchy so things, I, aren't I, they? So the way you get rid of a video that you started <coughs> playing on a phone or tablet is to swipe it off. Yeah. You swipe it down, it gets small, then you swipe it off. But it's this little icon right here that looks like lines with little, looks like a guitar fret. <laughs> 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 looks like music. That is your search options. And maybe I want to see ones that were done this month. You know, if I'm looking for something that's really recent, and this one doesn't have this year. Interesting, the Android one has year. But instead of limiting it, I can just say sort by upload date. And now I will get the most recent. Oh, look at that. The one, that's, the one that we're doing right now comes up on top. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably because you're logged in as you too. Yeah. And three months ago and three months ago. So you get the idea. You can limit the search. All right, now let's look for um, guitar lessons. And we are going to get a lot. I mean, there are thousands. And. Yeah, Roger, I like our business better. We have fewer people that we have to compete with. <laughs> Everybody's but a now, player. <laughs> now I want to look for guitar lessons by Roger Wilson. I can't do that with the options because there's those those are just for categories. But I can do it by typing up here, and I think I'll type Roger. Oops, Hurricane Wilson. There we go. Welcome to Blues Guitar Lessons Free. And one of the key um, words in there is, um, we were trying to keep it so like the word free would be in there because there are some free lessons that people can check out. And then if they like what they hear or see, they can go and uh, subscribe for a whole year. Okay, so now that if, if you watch and you like what you see, then you want to <laughs> shut up, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> then you want to uh, subscribe to this this channel. So you need to get to the channel, and I'm not seeing it now. I have there's ah there over 
it depends on the size of the screen you're using and the layout. We'll see when we get to the Android. So you have to look over the whole screen. I see Roger Wilson channel here, and there's subscribe. So if you subscribe to that, but notice this little pop-up. Just subscribing will get you notifications occasionally. But if you want to be notified of all new videos, you want to tap on that little bell. So now it says you'll be notified about every new video from this channel. But then, one more step. I mean, are all of your videos on YouTube, <coughs> Roger? I'll bet not. Not all of them, no. Um, what right. I try to do is I, I have a lot of performing videos on there, and I also try to put in the ones um, that are going to maybe lead people back to the site to check out the, check out the, the guitar videos. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, because if you're watching a video on YouTube, you're not paying for it. And, you know, there are those of us who want to make a living. So, if you go to your browser and, you know, you've probably you've learned from the video, and there's probably a link even in the video or at the end of the video, but I wanted to show you just going raw. I'm just going to my Chrome browser and we go to... HurricaneWilson.com is his main website, just like GigsOnTour.com is our main website, but then from there, you can get to everything else. So here is his, his main website, and then Guitar Instruction, and there's four other websites. So what, what do you think? Uh, the car, beginning guitar lessons free.com, is that what I should show them? That's a good one. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> and you know, same same thing with, with us. Geeks on Tour has a channel on YouTube, but if you want all of them, you go to our our website. And there is just um, sign in with an email address, and they'll give them the free. And then if they what they like that, they want to see more, they can subscribe for a whole year for like forty nine ninety five. And then um, we try to put up at least two new videos a month. Okay, so you put in your your email. And my first name. Isn't that nice? You don't ask for a whole lot of information here. And free no, lessons. Now, when, once, if, if, if there are people watching who are interested in learning guitar, once you get here, you probably you should bookmark it. So in the menus, no, the way this one works is you just tap that little star. And from now on, you will be able to get back here by going to your bookmarks. And there is beginning guitar lessons free. And you can just watch. Now, one, one extra little piece I want to mention is if you're going to use a smartphone or a tablet for watching videos, it really helps if you don't have to hold on to it. So I, I wonder if other people out there might have some ideas. Um, my iPad, for example, I have this great little keyboard that also acts as a cover. So my, my iPad is nice and safe. But most importantly, for me anyway, it acts as a stand. I just love that. So I use, I use this is my favorite tablet to use in the kitchen for recipes or cooking videos because of this little stand. That's a nice... Don't believe her. I'm the cook. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I made a special salad on Thanksgiving. I actually used a recipe. That's true. But then for a phone, you know, now that, that keyboard cover was, I don't know, $100 or something yeah, like that. that. This little stand was, I think, $1 at the, at the bargain bin by the checkout. And and it works really great. I love. And if you have a three D printer, one, one yeah. And and there's there's bigger ones too. 
but just look at the next time you're in Best Buy or even Walmart in their bargain bins. I'm sure you'll see something like that. And it's, it's cool how it, it's it nice. folds up. Fits in your case and it's very nice. Yeah. All right. Now, just another few minutes showing you the same thing on the Android. It's really pretty much the same. So, but one, one thing I have discovered, there's a lot that you don't see on the YouTube menus if you have your phone horizontal. And when you're actually watching a video, you might want it horizontal, but to go into YouTube and look for things, vertical gives you more options. So YouTube app, same thing. And I don't know, what should we search for now? How about, I, I keep buying basil. <laughs> How to grow basil. <laughs> How to grow. Instead of how to kill basil. <laughs> <laughs> how to grow basil. Look at all this. It just goes on and on and on. And, oh, what was that great one? How to shut corn. Is that how you spell shuck? <laughs> And you'll, you'll find some fun stuff in here, too. And, of course, music. Easiest way to shut corn. Yeah, that one's really cool, how you can just do it all in two seconds. <laughs> you can learn anything. Anything. Now, let me search for Roger Hurricane Wilson. And most of what's in here, I mean, this is, this. you have a lot of stuff on here, Roger. <laughs> most of this stuff is Never actually, watched. and once again, you just swipe, if you, if you click on one that you don't want, you swipe it down and then you swipe it off. And here are the, now let me go back here, I want guitar lessons. So the terms that you search are, it's an art more than a science. And you just keep playing it, playing with it. Another thing, I, and so these are mostly your guitar lessons, aren't they? It had Hurricane Wilson yep. in front of guitar yep. lessons. Yes. When you, when you <clears throat> yes, I, I, I did mean that. But one other time that I was practicing with this, I got a lot of music about hurricanes. <laughs> <laughs> and I fixed that by putting quote marks around your name. You know, then it, it didn't, search for hurricanes, it only searched for Roger Hurricane Wilson. Maybe it's not doing that this time because I've been here before. Okay, I think, and then, and then to subscribe, so you'd have to get to a, here on the Android is where the subscription is. Notice I am already subscribed and Notice how easy it is to unsubscribe. Just tapping on the subs and unsubscribe. So don't be afraid to subscribe to a channel thinking that you're going to get bombarded. It's very easy to go in and unsubscribe and then even subscribe again. Just remember, if you do want all the notifications, tap on that bell as well. Okay. Do we have time for a... A couple minutes of, of music from Roger. I think we can work that out. Okay. Okay. It was so cool. Roger the, actually. Uh, I've got Roger's the iPad with my words in it. Ah, yep. I, I, every, I think every musician I know uses their iPad for their, for their lyrics. Well, I used to have to memorize them and then uh, did the notebook thing for a long time. But now I just put a PDFs in there and just because uh, I'm going to have to do that sooner or later. Sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> I guess I can play the, the RV song for you a little bit. Yeah. I call this the, yeah. uh, the unofficial. It's called Home Sweet Home of My RV. It's available as a single. Uh, it's on iTunes pretty much anywhere you can get music. But I'm also, uh, I consider it the unofficial RV national anthem. Maybe it's right. Right. 
Right now it's unofficial. So anyway, I, it, each verse talks about an adventure, you know, starting out being in your motor home and on the road and having fun. And then it goes into the, uh, takes a dark turn. And then it comes out and gets a little bit lighter again after that. So I'll do the uh, first verse of chorus and then the, uh, where it takes the dark turn, come back out. Okay. I'm at home wherever I go, living in my house of wheels. I can go wherever I want, do whatever I feel. Nothing can stand in my way or keep me from being free. I'm at home wherever I go, at home in my RV. Doesn't matter what kind of rig you own, from a pop up to a Monaco. A Fleetwood, a Keystone, a Silver Airstream, a Legro to Winnebago. All that matters is that you're happy and that's how you should feel. It could be in the shortest teardrop all the way to the longest fifth wheel. All right, here's where it gets bad here now. <laughs> There's many challenges that we face while living in a motorhome. Some days can be adventurous, some days it all goes wrong. Like finding a leak in your gray water tank, or see your AC coat flat on the road. But nothing compares to sitting on the shoulder, waiting for good sand to show. <laughs> I'm at home wherever I go, living in my house of wheels. I can go wherever I want, do whatever I feel. Nothing can stand in my way or keep me from being free. I'm at home wherever I go, with home in my RV. <laughs> anyway, that's part of it anyway. <laughs> cool, thank you. And thanks for coming over last night and giving us that concert. Yeah, that was nice. Just sitting in our, we had it on the big screen too. We had we were using Chromecast yeah. to put it up on the big screen. Had good sound and everything. It was really, really pretty. No, good. it was so, uh, it was great. That's yeah, that's that's the forum uh, concertwindow.com. I'm gonna try to start doing some more of those. It was great to have uh, had some other people come in and, and join up with it. It's just uh, you know, I played a coffee house for about 15 years every Thanksgiving weekend. And the way the, the economy is and the way the conditions are, the way the world is, a lot of people are not going out like they used to. Um, maybe young folks are going out for DJs like late at night, but that's not the crowd we're looking for. Um, the live music crowd is just staying home a lot a lot of times, unless you have like a maybe a, a spring show or something like that. You know, you've got an eye that's worth going to see the show. But so many people are staying home. So I was going to this coffee house and the crowds were diminishing. I mean, like, I played for more people last night on that than I think I played in the last coffee house that I did last year. So it's, uh, and, and people are listening and so don't have to hit the road and it's very comfortable and, and you can stay home and do it like you guys did. So, well, I'm gonna try to do that some more. I had, I had a great time doing it. So for those of you watching, what he's talking about, concertwindow.com is a place where musicians can schedule concerts that are online. So they're on every found... day all the time. Huh? They're on every day all the time. You can just go to concertwindow.com. There's players up there just putting on all kinds of shows. You can tune in and support them, and it's great. Yeah, and we found out that Roger was going to be on there through his Facebook page, and he had a link. So at the appointed time last night, we turned on a computer and went to that link, and then we used Chromecast to cast what was on the computer screen to the big screen TV with the surround sound, and we had a great concert, yeah, right? Great. Right in our living room. So uh, was that was a wireless thing? Uh, for your uh, big screen, there, I yeah. know there's a, uh, a, a wireless HTM, HDMI little contraption. That you, I've been meaning to get there's, one of those. There's a bunch of them. Google's is called Chromecast. Then there's a Roku. And there's Apple TV. Yeah, there's a Microsoft one. There's a Fire TV. There's all there's kinds several. of ways of sharing. Chromecast is probably the cheapest, though. I think it's 35 bucks. 
I, was, I would love to do a show on that sometime, but I'm just not sure how to do it because the TV's in the other room. <laughs> was that an actual piece of hardware that you plug into the computer and has a little antenna that goes to the HDMI? Is that oh, yeah. something like that? Yeah, I had one of those, but that's, that's not... That's yeah. something else that's something that he's else. talking about. Yeah. But yeah, it can okay. be done that way too. All, all different ways to do whatever you want to do. Okay. All right. I right. think we're... Yeah. Well, let's get on with it. We do invite you to like us on Facebook. Just go to Facebook.com. Everybody's there anyway. Facebook.com slash Geeks on Tour. I got to tell you about an app before we go. Okay. I'll tell you about an app. That, but there's this little thing I found. It's a, it's a pedometer app. Blue background with a couple of footprints on it. It's a free app for and it, it's wonderful for counting your footsteps during the day. In other words, oh. I, I can be out in my yard working and I do a lot of work around, you know. And uh, every day it, re, it re, resets itself, and I'm always trying for ten thousand steps a day. How's I don't that work? Get there, but uh, <laughs> it, it, well, 10, I, mean, I did about six thousand. Yeah, I know. I did about six thousand yesterday, which was good. And, well, that's uh, cool. I don't see I myself mean, losing any. Both the Samsung and the iPhone do have built in in their health apps. They have a step monitoring system. But uh, if you just want the pedometer part, that's that's good to know. Just called pedometer. That's what this one is. Yeah, pedometer. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, I had a, a, an app of the week. Chris's beginning tip was about focus, but about photography. So I, I came up with, with an app of the week. It's for focus for your productivity, to focus on the stuff that you really uh, need to focus on. And there are some apps out there. Most of them are timers. And at, uh, they will they will keep you on track so that you will beat your procrastination and be more efficient when you're working on your your stuff there. I am going to try that. Yeah, it'll actually turn off certain apps like Facebook or or your Messenger or things like that so that you're not uh, distracted by those things. Good luck. And, yeah, right. We're constantly getting these notifications. We'll be trying to get some work done and, and bing, 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 things are happening all over on all the different different tools and, and you know, some people can just turn off their phones and set them aside. But us, we have to be working on our phones while we're doing our work. So, you know, it, how, do you, how do you manage that? And, and then you say there's something on the computer too that will like turn off your Facebook? Yeah, there are, there are app things. That, it's just all kinds, of, all kinds of stuff that you can get for it. So the one that I had for the Apple is just called Focus. And you get it on the App Store. It's like eight dollars, but uh, but a lot of people have, have a lot of good uh, reviews on it. A lot of people really like it. So if you need to stay focused, that might be a way to do it. For the Android, App Block is another one out there, and this one's free, uh, and you can just put it on there. But basically, it'll block apps from running for a certain amount of time, typically 25 minutes. Uh, you may have heard of the Pomodoro no. technique. I thought and, that was some kind of spaghetti sauce. Yeah, well, it could be that too. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, it is something that, that times and it blocks all your apps, except the one that you're working on, for 25 minutes. And then it gives you a five minute break so you can go and look and play. And then it'll go back into the 25 minute block your apps. And it's configurable so you can set it up however you need to focus on your work. So a different kind of focus. So app block. So <laughs> what do you think? Well, I like it. I don't know. <laughs> Did you learn something? Uh, uh, probably too much. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just about anything with videos. Where YouTube? What do they say? YouTube is the second largest search engine. Mm-hmm. So anything that you want to learn, from the obscure to the. I asked. I asked young people this more. exactly one time. It's the main place that people get uh, their music. The young folks are looking for music. 
That's where they go. YouTube is it. Yeah, we did another show on on you. There's actually YouTube Music is a separate app, and mm -hmm. yeah, you can find anything. Okay, subscribing to a channel gets you occasional notifications. To get notified of all new videos for a channel, what do you have to click on? The little bell. That yeah. bell is apparently becoming the universal symbol for notifications, notifications yeah. or at least it is in the Google world. All right, to learn to play guitar, go to hurricanewilson.com and click on what? Uh, what was that menu item? <laughs> Uh, guitar instruction. You have a menu that says guitar instruction. All right. And, and all his other websites are under there. To limit your searches in YouTube, how do you do that? On one of them, it's called the filter, and on the other one, it's called the search options. But there is a little button that gives you options. Oh, great. All right, Chris, what's the web page that lists all of our weekly shows? GeeksOnTour.com, and the menu item is Weekly Show. And the web page that lists all of our recent newsletters. GeeksOnTour.com, the menu is Blogs and Articles, Newsletters is under there. Okay, and the benefits you get by joining Geeks on Tour. Our complete learning library of prepared tutorial videos, like the one you saw in the beginning today. Yeah, little five little, to seven minute videos. Actually, I'm starting to get them shorter and shorter. Thanks. Like two to six minutes okay. now. And you get to ask questions on the member Q&A forum. We promise to respond there. If you ask your questions on the forum, you'll get an answer. It might not be the right answer, but we'll do our best. And show notes for all of these saved. What does this button do shows are all up there. Some members get those. Some discounts on products and services. And the Google Photos book is coming out real soon now. The preview is up there. And you can check that out. So do it. Get all of that stuff. And again, please become a member. We invite you to become a member. Just go to geeksontour.com and click on it. <laughs> Roger wants to. <laughs> Roger has his learning Google Photos book. Got it right here. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, and then we're 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 just about out of here. Roger, you want to have any final words, sir? No, I just uh, I enjoy what you guys do. I really appreciate some check in. So I'm glad we uh, we're able to catch up and uh, you know, spend some time and. Well, we really appreciated you being on here. That yeah, was fun. That is. That was fun. Thank and you. We'll stay in touch and we'll listen to more. So for our next show, we'll be December 4th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time in the United States. We'll have a topic using smartphones to scan and scanning pictures, QR codes, and documents and using other, other uses of that camera. Lens, lens yeah. for scanning. So watch for the notification on the next show. Let us know that you're watching. Leave any questions there in the comments. And we will do it again next week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm Jim. I'm Chris. And that's Roger. And we'll <laughs> Keep see pushing you all. those buttons. <laughs> and thanks what again. does this button do? Don't touch that button. What does button. this button do? Don't touch that button. <laughs> What's this button do? <laughs> <laughs> Bottom of fallout. Hey guys. Um, Take care. <laughs>